Welcome to the video section on getting started with ECCAD drawing duct. In this session, we're going to look at the different options for drawing duct and show you some of the shortcuts to uh, apply this. So what we're going to do first of all is you're going to want to load up your default EC Start Drawing template. To do that, you can either come to the big red A and go to your options here or you can come down to the command line and just type in OP for options and this is going to open up the dialog box for us here. The first thing we want to do is we want to navigate all the way back to the left and we want to go into the files here. So when we go into the files we want to come down here and we want to go to our template settings and in our template settings we want to go ahead and set the default template file name for QNew and we're going to go ahead and select the path and then go to browse and we're going to go select the template that we want to use for this and mine are located here under my program data Trimble EC CAD for 2021 and under the templates folder so here I have my EC start drawing template and I've named mine new because I've made some changes to it so I'm going to just go new EC start drawing template. We'll hit apply and OK. Now when you go to draw with this template, you can just come up here to this sheet of paper. This is the Q new that will start a brand new drawing on your screen here. This drawing is set up out of the box with our routing preference already intact. So if we go to manage and we go to the style manager pull down and go to the HVAC routing preferences, you can see here these are the out of the box routing preferences. I'm going to go ahead and select the 2 inch water gauge TDC by 10 inch water gauge positive slip and it'll load this routing preference up. Once the routing preference is loaded up, you'll see here if you come down here to your rectangular round and oval areas here you can set up the default duct you want to draw with the default elbows transitions tap etc you're going to want to pick your trimble manufacturer catalogs to do this with and i'm going to tell you when i run a square elbow i want it to be a rectangular square throat elbow then we'll just hit apply and then we'll hit okay now we have that set up as our routing preference and we can go ahead and start drawing duct. To start drawing duct, you can come to the home ribbon, select duct from the ribbon, and then everything is going to be done in your properties palette to draw the duct. So you can see here we can set our system up that with the pull down here, I can say I want to bring this in as a supplier. And so I've just brought that into the system. I want to go select that routing preference that we just set up. So I'm going to go over here to my routing preferences and I'm going to pick the two inch water gauge. And now that's ready for us to start drawing our duct. Here we have our size and this can either be typed in if I want to go here with 36 or I can go to the pull down and select the size that way. I want to go to 20. I can come here and I always want to have specified cut length as no because it's going to pull the cut lengths from your sheet stock. I'm going to give it the elevation that I want to draw at and I'm going to tell it that I want to draw at 10 foot elevation and I can justify where I'm holding my duct here by any corner or and in this case I'm doing it by the center. And now we're going to scroll down here in our properties palette and look at some other items. So we set our elevation up. Now I want to come back in here and I want to go to the elbows. You can see I've got my square elbow set up. I've got my tap set up for a shoe tap. I've got no acoustical lining and it's no double wall. If I wanted to have some slope on this, I can slope the ductwork with a fractional rise and run. Our branch fitting is going to be a takeoff or a shoe tap in this case. And if we want to give it some additional information here as we're drawing it with some have it automatically annotate the drawing we can. I'm just going to simply click into the drawing and now I'm going to start drawing this ductwork. And you can see here I've got my uh, duct. I'm going to just click down here. I'm going to turn the corner on it and it automatically inserted that square throat elbow for me. 
if I come in here and zoom in on this to look at this, it's broken that down into all my fabricatable sections. It started with an elevation and a size because the Auto Tag Manager was set up for that. You'll also notice that there's no links on all of the full length joints, only on the short ones. And that is also set up by choice. If you want to bring a tap off, you can just click, click onto the piece of duct, hit the plug grip, and now you can go through here and you can start drawing that duct off of the supply line here. And I can come over here and change the size of it. I'm going to take that down to a 20 by, let's say, 12 inch in the depth and I can just bring that off of the duct and stop it wherever I want and I'm going to tell it I want it to drop down to the floor below so I'm going to take it down to minus 12 inches. That's going to create my riser on this as well for me. So once this is done now and I go ahead and just click enter to exit the command it's going to go ahead and detail that duct out break that into its fabricatable sections and add the necessary annotations. We also have our own properties palette, so that if I click onto a piece of duct here and I want to see everything about that duct, I can just come up here and select the properties here. This is going to show me everything about the duct, the gauge selections, the, the connectors, etc. We can also make changes within this properties palette. But let's go ahead and continue drawing for a moment and I'll show you some of the changes we can make. I'm going to leave that little 7 8 of a piece right there, and I'm going to go ahead and click on this and say, I want to put a transition here. So we, by clicking onto that piece of duct, and now all I'm going to do is come over here and change that down to a 30 inch. And that's going to go ahead and insert my transition in for me. And I'll just go ahead and bring that down here and let that transition be placed here. Again, right click and enter is going to go ahead and get me out of that command. Now it's added all my annotation. But now I can take that 7 8 inch piece and just click on that and say maybe I want to take that and I want to modify that and I want to add that to my transition. So I can go ahead and just touch onto that piece. Go right over here to modify and I'll say add that to my transition. So that a transition absorbed the short piece and made that another inch longer. If you want to make changes to the transition itself by clicking onto that, everything appears in the properties palette. So if I wanted to come over and make this fitting, let's say, flat on the right hand side, I can hit my stretch command. Then I'll just come over here and say I want my right set to be zero. And you're going to see that moved my whole duck run over to make that flat on the right hand side. If you want to continue off of any piece of duct by clicking onto the part, you have two different grips you can use. You can use the plus grip to start adding new duct, or you can grab the triangle and stretch the duct on out. So that's how you go ahead and you get started drawing your duct work. If you want to come off of a duct with a tap and you want it to come up in elevation, simply click onto the grip to add the tap. It's asking me if I want to make it smaller and I do. I'm going to make this one a 18 by 10. But now I want that to come up in elevation right toward me. So I'm just going to come over here to my elevation in my properties and type in 144 to go up to 12 foot elevation. Now I can take this and just drag this off to the side here and place this wherever it needs to go. And right click and enter and that closes that command and it'll go ahead and detail that on out. And that's going to end session one of getting started with the EC CAD for HVAC drawing duct. We hope you enjoyed this video. See what's next in our product tips playlist or visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.